Another one. Two cast lead or a bass, guys. Little bass on the crankbait. What's up guys? Josie Joel Fishing here. Hope everybody's having a great day today. The date is March 26th, 2021. Extremely windy today. Extremely windy today. It's going to be 45, 50 mile an hour wind gusts. I'm not sure uh, if I want to fish, but I'm going to go to my local pond. I have about an hour. I got to go pick up my daughter for the weekend. So I'm going to take a few casts despite the heavy winds and we'll see if I can get a fish. I might try a spinner bait or even a crankbait. Those are two really good baits in the wind. It's uh, really warm right now, 77 degrees. So the water temperature should have really went up the last couple days here. And despite the brutal wind gusts and the windy conditions, hopefully I can get a couple fish in the short hour that I have to fish at my local pond. And we'll see what happens. So let me get in the car and head over to the pond. And I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. It's windy, but it's very warm. Gonna try a crankbait. Little black and gold crankbait with some red spots on it. And maybe I'll try a spinnerbait because it's real windy out. Spinnerbait's really good to use in the wind. Not sure if they're going to be biting. Sometimes when it's this windy, it really messes up the bite. They don't bite at all. It gets them all screwed up. But I'm going to give it a shot. I have maybe an hour to fish. Don't have a lot of time. And we'll see what happens. All right. See if they want the crankbait. Here we go. First cast. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got one, guys. Got one. Oh, he got off. No, I got him. I got a bluegill. A bluegill on the crankbait. No, pumpkin seed. Wow. Pumpkin seed on the little crankbait. Actually, it's not a full-blown pumpkin seed, guys. This is a bluegill pumpkin seed hybrid. That's what this is. It's a hybrid on the little black and gold crankbait. Not a bad looking fish. Nice color patterns on them. Like I said, this is a hybrid. It's not a bluegill. It's not a pumpkin seed. It's a mix. I'm not gonna do any underwater releases today, guys. It's just way too windy. Real good looking uh, pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid here, guys, on the little tiny black and gold crankbait. Only took me about five minutes. Even though it's very windy, it is warm. At least I caught a fish, didn't take long. All right, let's get him back in the water and see if we can catch another one. This wind is insane, guys. Look at it. They said it's gonna be 50 mile an hour wind gusts today, 50. That's insane. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting the crankbait. I'll see you later.
There he goes. Back out that way. See you, bud. All right, that was fish number one. After five minutes, let's see if we can get fish number two here. Seconds later. Another one. Two cast later, a bass, guys. Little bass on the crankbait. Look at this wind. The fish don't care. They're still biting. Look at this, guys. On the crankbait. I guess the warm weather is turning them on. Usually when it's this windy, they don't bite. But it is very, very warm. I only have an hour to fish. It's so windy. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything and I caught two fish literally within five minutes. Real nice looking bass here. Look at the spring colors, the stripe, real defined on the little crankbait. Awesome. All right, let me unhook this guy and get him back in the water. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting the crankbait. I'll see you later. And there he goes. See you, bud. All right, two fish, five minutes on the little crankbait. Let's see if we can get fish number three here. Look at this. I got a big wind knot. I was afraid that's gonna happen. When it's this windy, if you're casting into the wind, you get these wind knots. It's like a big bird's nest. Early the next morning. Hey, what's up guys? It is the next morning. It's about 8 a.m., 44 degrees. It got cool last night. It's gonna get up to about 65 later, so it's not gonna be as warm as it was yesterday. It, yesterday it was Almost 80 degrees, very, very windy. Still windy, although not as bad. I'm gonna uh, stay local again this morning. They're doing some construction over here and there's all this traffic. So I don't wanna be stuck in it, driving to another spot. I'm gonna fish for like two hours, see if I can get some more fish on the crankbait. And maybe I'll try a spinner bait. Maybe I'll try uh, night crawlers. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't think I'm gonna try night crawlers. It's a little bit too windy for that still. I'll just stick with the crankbait. That's what's been working. I'm gonna go around the whole pond as many times as it takes. The hot spot's been over in this corner the last week, but sometimes these fish move around, especially with the wind. So we'll see what happens, guys. Let me uh, get my crankbait and start casting. Talk to you guys in a minute. All right, it's not as windy. It's a little bit cooler, like I said. But let's see if I can get some more fish. First cast. It's been really warm the last week. So these fish are really active and moving up shallow. It's been a really good week of fishing the past week. Really good. Five minutes later. I got one, guys. Come here, buddy. Only took about 10 minutes. I walked around the other side. He chased it in. He's cold. Not a giant, just a little guy. But I'll take it. That's two bass and a bluegill hybrid I caught on this little crankbait. Fishing here yesterday afternoon. And now this morning, three fish on this little crankbait. 
he really slammed it. Look at that. He wasn't going nowhere. He's got almost all three treble hooks on the side of his mouth there. He literally bit like 10 feet from shore he bit. I casted it way out there in the middle. He must have chased it in. All right, I got it out. Just this little crankbait, guys. That's it. These fish are loving it. All right, I'm going to get an underwater release now. The wind died down. It's nice and sunny out. Bluebird skies. Let's do an underwater release. Good looking little bass here. Let me get a photo real quick. All right, underwater release time. Thanks for hitting a crankbait, buddy. All right, that only took 10 minutes. Over here on the other side, let's see if we can get another one. Here we go. Twelve seconds later. Another one, bigger one. Good fight, guys. Literally three minutes later, definitely a bigger bass. He's pulling hard, fighting hard. Come here, buddy. A little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier, slammed it. Well, I found the right side this morning. Yesterday, that was the hot spot. And last week, over on that side, by the road. Right now, they're biting over on this side, by this big tree here. That's why I like this pond. It's so small, you can walk around the whole pond literally in like 10 minutes fish number two on the little crankbait no reason to change lures this one's working so well look at the stripe on them getting all their spring colors in we're hitting the pre-spawn they look really really good with their colors all the fish species all right buddy underwater release time i'll see you later All right, it's windy, although not as windy as yesterday, like I said, it took me a good few minutes to find out what side was the hot spot, and I found it. Just caught two bass back to back on this little crankbait. Let's keep fishing, here we go. I'm just casting it right in the middle in front of me and just reeling it in medium, that's it. Like I said, this crankbait has a lot of action. It mimics a bait fish or live minnow, any other smaller fish. And that's what they're feeding on, which is why I caught so many last week on the live shiners. They just couldn't resist it. Oh, one just chased it in. Did you guys see that? I don't know if the GoPro would, I don't know if the GoPro caught it because there's a glare with the sun. The bass just chased it in. A little guy saw him. Man, these fish are aggressive this morning. 
See if he comes back for it. A few moments later. Another one, guys. Slammed it. Fighting hard. Slammed it. Same spot, right in the middle. Come here, buddy. Another bass. They're not that big. Some of them are bigger than others. A little bit longer, a little bit fatter. They're not giants, but man, they're aggressive. This is fun. This one's got really nice colors on them, guys. Three bass in the last 10 minutes over on this side by the tree here. All right, let me unhook them and I'll show you guys the release. I like the colors on this one. Look at those stripes. Look at the black stripe, how defined it is. Underwater release time. Well, this is awesome, guys. Three fish within, I don't know, five, six casts on this little crankbait over on this side by the tree. This is the hot spot. And let's see how many more we can catch. I'm gonna keep fishing. The bite's hot right now, red hot. When the bite is this hot, you don't stop. Here we go. Let's see if we can get fish number four. Right out in the middle. Just retrieve it medium. Has a lot of action for a small crankbait. Like I said, it's a much easier meal for these fish. It'd be nice to catch a big one. They're a little bit bigger than little dinks, but it'd be nice to catch at least a two pounder. Missed it. Chased it and he missed it. Had his mouth on it. I had no more room to reel in. Well, the bass stopped biting. I did have two other follows. The wind picked up a little bit more again. So I think I'm gonna throw some catfish bait out for about an hour, see if I can get a catfish. There are a lot of catfish in this pond. I've caught it a bunch last summer. I'm just curious to see what this water temperature is now because it was 80 degrees yesterday, it was 70 a couple days before that. Oh, I got a little pool thermometer. It's not digital, but this will work just fine. Let me cast it out there, let it sit for five minutes and check the water temperature. I'm very curious to see what it is. All right, let me check this thermometer, see what this water temp is. Water temp is everything in fishing. It is 54 degrees. Man, that really went up. 54 degree water temperature, guys. That really went up. That's why these fish are active. This is a smaller body of water, small pond, the water temp goes up quicker. And like I said, it's been really warm the last couple days. So 54 degrees, that's why they're active. I think 65 degrees, another 11 degrees is the ideal temperature for bass to start spawning. So if we continue this trend of warm temperatures, the bass might be spawning early this year. We'll see. 54 degrees, that's why they're active. Good to know. All right, let me throw a catfish rig out there and see if we can get a catfish. Well, nothing on the catfish rig yet. 
I've been uh, letting it sit out there for a good 20 minutes. I got a piece of hot dog dipped in barbecue sauce and garlic powder. The catfish may not be biting yet. Usually they bite near sunset anyway, but I wanted to give it a shot. Gonna give it another half hour, and then I'm gonna call it. It was a really good day yesterday in the wind. Good morning so far. So, can't complain, guys. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm out of time for today. Gonna take the kids to the zoo and enjoy the weekend. But it was a good couple days of fishing. Yesterday, it was very warm, almost 80 degrees, and high winds. And didn't have that much long to fish yesterday because of the wind. But I did catch two fish, a hybrid bluegill pumpkin seed and a nice bass. And then this morning, I wanted to come back here. It's a little bit cooler and less wind. And I ended up catching three bass on the small crankbait and lost probably four more and had about five more follows. You know, the water's crystal clear. It's a little bit low. You could really see the bass chasing the bait close to shore. I tested the water temperature with that pool thermometer I bought, 54 degrees. You know, massive warm-up. This is a small pond. It's probably 50 near the bottom, but 54 degrees near the surface. That's why these fish are active. And uh, if this warming trend continues, like I said, the bass might be spawning early. A lot of good fishing coming up with these warm temperatures. Trout fishing is next week, and I'm going to go for trout and uh, hopefully catch some nice rainbows. So look forward to that coming up. It was a great couple days of fishing here at my local pond, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.